By the time you see this I'll know whether it's worked or not but you won't so I want to see how many people have got faith in me <laughs> who think this is going to actually work and come out half decent. Well I left it 24 hours because I can't wait any longer it'll be alright. Um, I managed to get the wood off <laughs> This is well and truly stuck. I did, after I put the things, the clamps on there, I realised that I was supposed to put wood on it and I put two pieces of wood straight on. So, but it's stuck. It's well and truly stuck. I can't cut through this, so I can't separate the layers because there's a layer of resin there and the knife's just not doing anything, so I can't. Because the resin seeped out between the tape, <laughs> this isn't going to go very well, is it? <laughs> uh, I suppose I better start with the top. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> Well, there's, there's something there. Forget a chisel in there and see if I can break the side off. What have I got to lose? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from my own sanity. This could either go reasonable or very bad. That's gonna go very bad. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to cut it. Peace, look, look, look. It will come out. It's just going to take hours. That actually looks very, very good. I'm going to start working on this off camera because I need to sit down. Um, when I'm banging it on here, it's going through the walls and God knows what, it's making a right noise. So. I'll see you next month. For those who thought it wouldn't come out, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, it took a while. Uh, it actually took me all of yesterday uh, because of my condition and having to stop every bloody five minutes. But that's going to come out very nice, actually. Uh, obviously, I've got a lot of sanding down to do. I can afford to lose about two millimetres off here. And the indent of the name, which I don't know how that's going to come out, I can lose that because that was extra height on top that I added. So, all in all, with that cut mark that I've done there, which isn't going to affect it, I can actually lose all of this because it is too thick. So, I've got a lot of sanding to do, which I'm not going to be using a Dremel or any power tools, it's all going to be by hand. Purely because it's less dust, less it's it's just cleaner to do it that way, um, and plus which I want to keep it all square, so it's all going to be done on the table. It's it's going to be stronger than steel. There is no way that's going to flex, break, or or even deform. Nothing, ever. 
Not a chance. Excuse all the mess. Uh, this is the finished product. It's not 100% perfect. Um, because I can't be asked to do anymore. It's still got the saw cut there. Anyway, this is that, there's, that's the top. There, this, 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 this. I've also done a torque arm. The torque arm sits in there, and I've got to drill the hole. And this is stainless steel. Um, I'm not looking forward to that. So if that's the back, this is the left side. So that's got to go on there. Now I'm going to tap directly into this. It's going to be tapped and drilled directly into it. How am I going to hold that and turn it upside down? <laughs> if I drill one, and get it in the right place, and I can line it up, and I can yeah, I'll do the rest. I'll just do one. Right, if I put that lined up on there, and I get my drill, and move all that out of the way. So now I've got to tap a 6mm hole. That's going to be interesting. Well, I've got one bolted in. Um, and before anybody says anything about bolting into carbon fibre, yes it can be done. I've done loads of research and loads of testing myself. That is tight. That is very tight. It doesn't pull the thread out. And yes, I do know about, about galvanic corrosion and stuff, but I'm not going to use it in the rain. <laughs> I'm not going to, it's not going to be subject to any weather whatsoever. Any weather whatsoever. Right, that's that one in. So now I can mark the other two with my drill. The only trouble with carbon fibre is it makes a bloody mess. Uh, these are as tight, if not tighter, than you'd normally do aluminium ones up. That is absolutely not going to go anywhere. The only thing I haven't got is a 12mm drill. Uh, the centrepiece on that is 10mm. So the bush, the actual um, pivot point is 10mm and the outer bush is 12 I've only got a 10mm. So I'm going to have to do that by hand. <laughs> All this is done by hand. I've got I, I've got no precision tools. I drilled that by hand. I've got to do that. That's got to be done by hand. Everything's all handmade. No bloody no no snobbery in here. You know you might, you might do what you've got. <laughs> 